Persians were smuggled by 17th century European explorers, along with spices and jewels, out of Persia, modern-day Iran. Persians are one of the oldest cat breeds, dating back to the 1600s. For centuries, they graced the courts of royalty in France, Italy, and England. Persians were a favorite of England's Queen Victoria and Florence Nightingale. They like to drape themselves over furniture and say, look at me, I'm lovely. Experts believe that today's domestic Persian cat is the descendant of this cat, Felis labica, still found in Africa and Asia. In the 19th century, the cats were exported to the U.S., and since then, they've become the most popular cat in the world. Now, these cats are probably most well-known for their unique face. The Persian has a brachycephalic head, giving it a pansy-like face. They've got this short, flat, pushed-in face. The eyebrows, the nose, and the chin should all be lined up. Persians have short, solid bone legs, so they prefer to have their feet firmly planted on the ground, unlike the jumping Siamese. The most striking feature of the Persian is its luxurious, long coat. It's the longest of any cat breed, created by a combination of a long undercoat and top coat. The Persian just begs to be petted. I mean, you just want to run your fingers through this luxurious coat. They're just exquisite creatures. Danelle German owns three Persians, Crazy, Chloe, and Monica. Danelle is a professional cat groomer in South Carolina. It's not unusual for cat owners to shave their Persians. And when a Persian comes in the door, that's when my heart skips a beat. When you shave all of this off, you've got a big pile of beautiful Persian cat hair. It seems like there's something you should be able to make out of it. So Danelle borrowed a friend's spinning wheel and turned the Persian cat hair into gold. I figured out how to spin the cat hair and turn it into just a beautiful, smooth, silky yarn. Danelle decided to make a handbag out of leftover fur from one of her client's Persians and surprised her with it. She had no words to express how she felt about it. She was in tears over it. The success of the first bag led to Danelle's dog and fur handbag business. I've made bags for people all across the United States, in Canada, and also in England. Making the handbags is no easy feat. First, the cat is thoroughly washed. Some like it, some don't and then given a blow dry. Then we shave the hair off. We typically have enough hair from that one single grooming to make a handbag. This is not done just to make yarn. Some people feel shaving a cat is a low maintenance way to keep them mat free. I take the hair and cart it. The yarn is then knitted into a handbag. Danelle admits some people may find the idea a little odd. We call those the ooh people. I think it's sort of absurd. Well, I always think of a cat as a pet, not a handbag. A cat handbag, a little creepy. And then we have the ah people that think it's really neat. I think these handbags are a great idea. I love them, they are so cute. Yeah, it doesn't creep me out at all. Satisfied customers are happy to pay anywhere from $45 to $400 for these made-to-order keepsakes. This is Charlie, and this is Charlie's bag. This bag means the world to me because once the time comes to have Charlie put to sleep, I will always have a little piece of him left behind. I absolutely love my bag because Smelly Cat means the world to me. He's my baby. Knowing that I have given somebody a treasure that memorializes their beloved pet, I am excited time and time again to be a part of that. Maybe these cats are so loved because they love to lounge around the house. They're known as the lounge lizard. These purr angels will live peacefully with other cats, dogs, and children. After generations of pampered lifestyles, they don't have street smarts, so they should always be kept indoors. You need to keep them inside. Indoor cats live somewhere between 12 and 14 years. Outdoor cats, uh, average lifespan is only four. Persians live 15 to 20 years and are susceptible to polycystic kidney disease. It's where cysts form in the kidneys, destroying tissue, which leads to kidney failure. 40% of them are affected. You probably need to have your cat ultrasounded on a regular basis. It's no easy task keeping a Persian coat beautiful. If you don't comb them every day, they get mats. Some people actually opt to clip the cat down completely and give them what's called a lion trim. 
the Persian is prone to kidney disease. They should be combed daily and receive regular grooming by a professional cat groomer every six weeks. And they're Hams, the perfect, friendly family house cat. When Cats 101 comes back, the breed that has trouble cleaning itself. And the breed that's cuddly as a rag doll.